Hi Virgo and welcome to your April Tarot Video Scope for uh, 2016 by AMA. You may reach me at amalightworker.com or amalightworker at gmail.com. If you do need to contact me for a private consultation, open your Akashic Records, Psychic Tarot Readings, Face Readings, Birthday Readings, Energy Clearing, Energy Healing, uh, a Reiki Session or uh, a Tone Rant Session. So the general feelings that I'm picking up, they have a lot to do with uh, change ch chances to improve uh, a situation in your life having to go through some changes an important trip uh, showing up for you and overcoming some sort of a big uh, obstacle so let's break it down one by one in the position representing you you have the eight of pentacles and the eight of pentacles it is the apprentice card uh, it denotes uh, learning a new skill or further developing a skill that you already uh, have um, you have the wisdom to work hard because you know that financial abundance is going uh, to follow really focusing on working hard Hard to achieve a goal, uh, to, uh, um, uh, to achieve your um, desired outcome. For some of you, could be it could be that uh, you recently started a new job, you are training into this new profession, in this new position. Uh, for some of you, money is coming to you now steady. So some money matters. Uh, a money circumstance is um, steady. It's coming to a better balance uh, for you. If you are someone who's working with clients or with tips to make a living, this is more steady tips or more steady clients. Uh, coming to you if you have some sort of a business this is more steady work uh, coming through this business or through um, this uh, work you may find yourself that uh, you have to work harder but in a different way maybe uh, you have to learn a new skill and find out new ways to uh, make the way you do your work more uh, effective. In a position of what could be crossing you, you have the Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords, it is a card that denotes a mental or a physical voyage, travel to a new place, towards a new idea that carries some challenges, but it's worth it because definitely it's going to take you to a better place of balance and equilibrium. Uh, it could also be uh, getting lost in a good book, finding a new philosophy, new ideas that are going to bring you to this better uh, stability, to this better balance uh, in life. This could also be consulting with someone, an important advisor or counselor showing up for you to help you uh, with anything that you need to improve your emotions or your physical uh, health to bring you to a better place of equilibrium. So it could also be an actual travel. Some of you could be traveling or moving because of this new job. Some of you could be attending a course to develop this new skill. And this is the reason why you have to travel. Um, it could be for an investment that you did or due to this new learnings new teaching something new that you are developing you are going to you're going to travel and then eventually you are going to make more money uh because uh of it so this is the reason for uh this why this is happening for some of you could be a planned a trip a planned travel or a planned move for some of you, I do feel like you are not so happy to go through this move or, or to go through this travel because it could be some sort of um, work related and you may not be too happy uh, about it. There are some concerns for you, you uh, during this uh, travel about the traveling conditions or the traveling uh, situation or the traveling uh, means. I do feel that for some of you, this trip shows up or this move, you could be moving uh, jobs and or you could be moving homes. As I said, for some of you, this new job could be the reason as to why you're moving. 
uh, I also keep getting that maybe you are moving towards a new philosophy in life, maybe a new uh, a new group of people, a new philosophy, uh, new beliefs. Maybe you were done believing in whatever it is that you believed before. Some of you maybe you didn't believe in God or anything, but now you are finding yourself that uh, that deep need for you to have some sort of a spiritual connection, whether it is a new religion, a new faith, and your spiritual practice. Uh, anything like that so you could be headed toward that realization and doing something about it by visiting uh, maybe um, going into places that are considered holy places a new church uh, a retreat in order for you to to develop this um, uh, spirituality or this need for you to do something else something different to improve your uh, circumstance especially when it comes to your uh, emotional uh, being it could be that you consult with someone important whether it is someone that uh, with whom you do a, a tarot consultation someone that you do like a consultation for health uh, reasons it doesn't matter what kind of counseling it is i do feel that you are going uh this counseling is going to uh, happen and is going to prove to be very beneficial to you because it's going to open your eyes or it's going to open more doors and more opportunities for you to see uh, your current situation from a different perspective for um, towards a more positive hopeful uh perspective in the position of what's above you, you have the Five of Wands. And the Five of Wands to me denotes struggling with those of less experience than you. It depicts a sham fight, training, exercising, practicing, um, winning a small battle with a promise that one day you are going to win big. So again, uh, this is another card that just adds more meaning to what I said so far. Some of you could be training for a new uh, position and maybe having a little bit of a hard time with people around you. They make you feel irritated or frustrated. You are coming to the realization that maybe you need to advance your career because you seem to have a lot more experience and you need to be surrounding yourself with people who share the same experience. So this way you don't have to have this gap in uh, communication. For some of you is that you are definitely more um, decided and you have a, a you, you you have this determination to train maybe to exercise for health reasons or other reasons definitely you are learning something new that is going to prove to be to be beneficial for your brain for the way you communicate but also for uh, your physical health as well however i do feel that the main reason that you are doing this is like to have this mental break or to change to shift something in the way um, in the way you uh, think in the position of uh, the root cause for this you have the four of swords and the four of swords is a card that denotes peace relaxation uh, feeling grateful that the wars did not happen, uh, meditation, refocusing your uh, objectives. I do feel that um, some of you could uh, try out something new, like meditating for the first time, it could be acupuncture, taking a few days off just to uh, relax for pure joy, uh, you could be going for a massage. Definitely you are doing something that is different. Some of you could be praying for the first time or learn how to pray. Maybe you never prayed uh, before. You could be going or counseling with someone and maybe tapping into the memory, uh, your memories, uh, uh, past life memories. You could be going to open your Akashic records or uh, past life regressions. Uh, again, this could be for the first time or going for uh, an acupuncture treatment, something alternative or something holistic, something other than the traditional in order for you to fight some old ways of thinking, to get over some old uh, habits. It's that like you are dedicating more time, not to um, uh, how to improve your physical body, but also how to improve your mental and your physical uh, body. Some of you could be doing like like some sort of an exercise to strengthen your memory, uh, anything like anything like uh, that. There is a situation here because in the picture, I'm also drawing to right here, and it is like a mother or a daughter or a holy person, and, and you're praying to. So that's why I said a new way, a new way for you to connect with 
what you consider to be holy or spiritual. It could be that some sort of situation, if you are a parent with your children, you are looking into different ways as to how to approach this uh, problem, or maybe you are a child and you have a, a problem with a parent. So some sort of family circumstance that you are trying to see and understand from a different uh, perspective. To me, it feels like you're throwing all the psych psychology books away or the traditional way of thinking away, and you are now approaching these problems in a new perspective, in a more, in the sense that I'm connecting to you soul to soul and let's resolve this uh, sort of communication or sort of a problem among, among us. And then remember that this is a general, re re it is a general reading. This doesn't have to necessarily be a family situation. It could be a situation uh, at work with authority figures or co-workers. In the position of the recent past, you have the three of wands. And the Three of Wands, it is a card that denotes embarking upon a journey from which there's no comeback and there is, uh, you are going to see the first success. Uh, patiently waiting for success to arrive. You are making some progress into this new journey. Uh, it denotes important trades, important negotiations, in, uh, international affairs and success. Usually, you, the universe, when you start something new, you have this sudden success. And then some changes need to happen in order for you to figure out the next change, the next big change, the next big move to, um, for uh, success to arrive at a higher uh, level. So I do feel that recently you started to do something that was successful. Some of you started a new business. Some of you started uh, love. Uh, connection with maybe someone international because this also denotes international affairs. Uh, maybe your business recently expanded uh, overseas. This is definitely uh, building the future, uh, the building uh, what you need, the foundation for your future. It's like you did what you had to do. You maybe you applied, and now you're waiting to hear uh, back. And maybe you started to communicate with this new uh, person that could be for some of you, someone international, in love or in friendship. And then now you are waiting to hear uh, back uh, from them. I do feel that it's just a matter of uh, time. You did what you had to do. You did your work, and now. You are patiently waiting for this success or for this news to arrive to you and I do feel that it's going to be some sort of a good news a success that you are going to hear from all this information the news that you need to hear from you are going to get that in the position of the near future you have the world and the world it is a card that denotes your guides and planetary movements are working on your behalf some sort of a big shift in planetary movements it's happening to change your luck for for the better so some shaky events some encounters are to happen for this good luck to begin to enter your life to change to shift the, the course of um, the course of your life the direction uh for the better you could be running into some limitations or some conflict of interest that is going to be temporarily but definitely is going to serve you to change to alter the course the, uh, the the course the direction that you thought you are going for the better you may not understand all the changes that are happening to you right now and I'm not an astrologer so I don't know what specific planetary movements are uh, making this shift happening uh, for you if you are someone a Virgo who already had some limitations when it comes to travel or some sort of other limitations I do feel that these limitations now are lifted doors are opening up for you also possibilities for you to travel as well if you are if you did not have these problems because it is a general reading if you are a Virgo who he was planning to expand maybe travel around the world to uh, to do some changes like that and if you find yourself to run into some blockages or limitations this is because again the universe planetary movements and your guides are intervening they are creating some sort of a temporary blockage and then these blockages will be lifted eventually in order for you to move uh, on it's somehow to kind of uh, protect you uh, from all of this you may find yourself that you are overly concerned with all um, uh, everything that's happening in the globe in the globe from uh, different countries and you may be thinking that how this is going to affect your business your finances your uh, emotions and you could feel restricted or overly worried about this and I hope to God nothing 
something else happens of, around the world because I'm tired of hearing of another um, an another ISIS attack or another terrorist uh, attack. So again, your luck is shifting for uh, the better. In the position, but you have to go through some changes in order for you to get there. Because in the next card, in the next position, your internal fear, uh, your internal attitude, you have the tower. So the tower, and I also got the tower for another uh, sign as well, denotes sudden changes, unexpected changes, conflicts, uh, maybe being forced to um, change homes. It could be a separation, a divorce financial problems, communication uh, uh, problems. I do feel that some of you may have a hard time having to move. Because, I, I, as I said, some of you will be moving because of this new job or for, for whatever reason. You may have a hard time during this transitioning time. I do feel that the main reason that the tower showed up for you is because you have to go through a lot of transitions this transition time for you to get you to this better place that you know that you deserve that you have been working so hard to get there you may run into into some sort of conflicts especially you are going to have this internal emotional turmoil this transition time in order for you to get you there you could be running into some trap um uh, uh if you travel you may run into some delays or other concerns problems uh, while traveling some of you could have a problem with the hotel once you get there anything like that pay attention to anything around the house that may need your attention to be repaired again as i said some of you could you know lease is doing maybe you are forced to move on to uh, even to a new office for some of you so let's see how that happens but again as i said it's going to be a temporary block temporary conflicts whatever this is it could be a complex a conflict within a business partnership for some uh, of you and the next cards in the position of uh the people and the environment around you you have the hermit and the hermit to me it is a card that denotes your guides showing up for you lighting uh lighting the way for you uh, it's a card that denotes seeking and perfecting uh, a solution to a problem that you already have. But this time, the solutions that you are going, going to have to find to these problems. Because I do feel like the tower also denotes some problems that you had before or constantly that you have. It could be an old problem for some of you, like a same situation repeats again in your life. So it's going to be this time around, your guides are going to inspire you. They are going to give you ideas that to you, they feel like yours. Uh, to find uh, permanent solutions for this problem not to come back uh, anymore. Uh, in your in, in your life so solutions will be provided to you most likely you your guys are going to send you these brand new ideas to come up with creative solutions for you to get yourself out of this uh, bad, situ uh, bad situation coming up with possibilities new opportunities chances for you to go deeper and reevaluate the situation to find a better stable more permanent uh, solution all the information that you need you could be seeking the truth uh, to something, to a situation, and you are going to do a little research, and that information that you need, this truth to come out, is going to uh, come uh, out. There is like this big moment of realization, self-realization, when you are going to realize something about you, yourself, the circumstance, and it's just going to enlighten you, a moment of enlightenment. In the position of uh, hopes, fears, and wishes, you have the Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords denotes it is a card that denotes heartbreak or heartache due to love, friendships, business partnerships. Maybe you, you explored some ideas and you saw that you weren't going anywhere with these new ideas. And that there's a death of a project. So you are going to try out different solutions until in practical matters, until you find out something that really works for you. For some of you is love could be a little bit challenging for you and maybe there's a heartbreak or heartache having to go through that some of you recently broke up and you still have to deal with your emotions uh, ar uh, around that it could be again it is a love friendship or a business matter but I, somehow i feel also 
some emotional issues around money and I don't know how to interpret this this is what I'm feeling when I'm picking up this card for you having to resolve important issues emotional issues around money that has nothing to do with how much money you have at the bank but is how you feel about uh, money and insecurities around uh, ma uh, money as well but definitely definitely I do feel like you have to go through these emotional big emotional changes for you to really figure out what is it that your heart desires and uh, how to change that I remember what doesn't break you make you makes you uh, stronger in the position of uh, con the outcome to conclude this reading you have the page of uh, the page of uh, Pentacles so the page of Pentacles again finally to balance everything out opportunities to improve matters of wealth and prosperity matters of home property and engaging at a work that make that keeps you young at heart opportunities for you to follow your passion some of you will be granted new opportunities to resolve your uh, matters in finance your matters in your job maybe getting a new job because it's a new job uh, that is uh, it's going to make you feel more happy maybe you weren't happy with your current uh, uh, job opportunities for you to follow your passion maybe you have a hobby and now you have more opportunities to do what you really like having the financial means for you to do so if you had some sort of a problem with a property maybe this is more money coming in to you maybe you applied for something like reimbursements grants some sort of money that is coming to you in order for you to uh improve a home situation home repairs you could be buying a new home buying a new um uh property this could be for some of you not for all of you for some of you this could also be a new uh love but definitely you are going to heal or cure your emotions around uh, money and how money affects you your life and your love life let's move on to the second part of the reading uh, Virgo April 2016 Akashic messages by Ama you may find me at amalightworker.com and uh, please check out your Sun sign rising sign and moon sign like share and subscribe if you don't subscribe some of these messages may not make sense at all to you one by one you will build the steps to your future in your career and professional life if you find yourself to have too many things to do at work take it one thing at a time don't try to do too many things or projects at the same time at the end of the day you don't have to finish everything but pat yourself in the back for finishing one of them quality should take priority quality of the work versus quantity of the work you may worry around the quality of life that you are living the quality of a relationship that you have or the quality of a relationship that you want to have in the future advice is to start living start doing start acting rather than feel it and see life passing you by you will be able to figure out exactly what you need to do to incorporate some important changes in your life starting now until late September or beginning of October life is good again financial situation is improving and it will keep on getting better therefore stop being so concerned around money issues uh, lately because you, lately you seem to overly worry around money issues if you are in a couple some of you could be considering to make big changes to the energy of this relationship that you are in you feel the need to do something new and daring and in the back of your mind you could be having some thoughts around changing your relationship status in your way or another whether it is to upgrade your relationship status or to dissolve your relation your relationship if you are single you could enter an important love partnership this summer chances for this to happen are starting now going into the summer months may june july and august but you may refuse uh to put uh boyfriend and girlfriend labels on each other right away and you are going to prefer to take your time uh, with this so these were your Akashic messages again contact me through amalightworker.com or through my email amalightworker at gmail.com if you do need to have a private uh, session with me have a great uh, month please like share and subscribe and I'll see you next time